Complete the table below for y is equal to minus one half of x plus three. Well, this is we're using substitution here. So what we've got to do is find the value when x is minus four, minus two, zero, two, and four. So when x is equal to minus four, we're going to have that y is equal to minus a half times x, which is now minus four plus three. Now minus a half times minus four. A half of 4 is 2, and a minus times a minus is positive, so that will become just 2 plus 3, which is 5. When x is equal to minus 2, y will be equal to a half, minus a half times minus 2 plus 3. A half of 2 is 1, and they're both negative, so it becomes plus, so it becomes 1 plus 3, which is 4. We're filling them in on the table here. When x is equal to 0, we're going to get minus a half times 0 plus 3. Well, anything times 0 is 0, so we're going to have 0 plus 3, which is 3. When x is equal to 2, we're going to have minus a half times 2 plus 3. Now, minus a half times 2 is a uh, half of 2 is 1, but we've got a negative and a positive, so that's going to mean we're going to have minus 1 plus 3, minus 1 plus 3 makes 2. And when x is equal to 4, we're going to have y is equal to minus a half times 4 plus 3. Minus a half times 4, a half of 4 is 2. We've got a negative times a positive, which is going to give me minus 2 plus 3, which gives me 1. Now we have a set of table which we can plot onto a graph. So the next part of the question is plot the coordinates on the axis below. Here's the axis. And I need to plot these points. Minus 4, 5, minus 4, 5. Minus 2, 4, minus 2, 4. 0, 3, 0, 3. And 2, 2. And 4, 1. So what I need to do is go along here minus 4, and then up 5, which is that point there, put a point. And then I need to do minus 2, 4, which is that one there, remember it's the x-coordinate first. Then we need to do 0, 3, and then 2, 2, and 4, 1. And we see that all these points lie in a straight line. If you take a ruler and join them up with a ruler, you will get the straight line here. And the equation of that line is y is equal to minus a half x plus 3. Now you can link this to y is equal to mx plus c. For example, the gradient here will be 2 along and 1 down. So that's minus 1 divided by 2, which is minus a half. And the y-intercept is 3. So we're linking different parts of the course here together. Substitution, drawing graphs, and the idea of y is equal to mx plus c.